the first video that they caught here that I was making, um, they've been torturing me since I got up, um, all down the sidewalk, um, Safeway, all the way back from Safeway, and I just, I couldn't take the torture anymore. And as I started recording about what was going on here in Hawaii, um, live as we go through this coronavirus stuff, and they got everybody on lockdown. This thing is just torturing me, uh, creating a public scene. Um, this is what the uh, Air Force Base is doing to the Hawaiian public here 24-7. Um, as this coronavirus stuff goes on, it refuses to uh, um, quit. And it also, uh, KHON refuses to report it, and the police department is jolly on the spot, man, to make sure that you're f not feeling okay and to uh, put you into a hospital somewhere. You know, I guess that's their whole agenda is to, uh, you know, lock you away in an asylum somewhere where you'll be in total misery the rest of your life, and to them, that's a success. At least that's what Barry Trower says, you know, diagnose you with schizophrenia or some stuff. In the meantime, Barry Trower is pretty plain when he says that they need to sample certain people and walk them to their deaths. That's what's going on, um, you know. So I, I don't know what the police are doing, you know. They say they know what's going on here tonight, um, obviously. Um, they shouldn't know what's going on. The guy was telling them about it for months before the two officers got shot and the houses got burnt down at so Waikiki. In the right? meantime, they continue to do it with me. They've been doing it with me I for four years my... before this guy was, anybody knew about this guy, and it's still doing it. KHON's yeah. been aware well, of it for years Hawaii. now. This is Chris Hansen. I'm be being down on my, my head again from this government. Uh, just major radio microwaves. I just got done screaming and blaring it down the sidewalk in front of the laundry over here. They got me so... They got me so disturbed. They got me so upset. They're putting riotous frequencies in my head right now as I'm making this video. I just went to the store to get some supplies. I just got... I got it from Walmart Bank because of all this Put this hamburger here in the fridge here, actually. And, uh, they're sitting here beaming my head out with microwaves. And this is where they stopped the Chris video. Hansen. And I keep hitting this camera, <clears throat> and at first he wouldn't even... They just keep stopping the video here and uh, what I'm saying um, to cover it all up. There it is, finally. And they're sitting there bl blinking. Look at it. So I, my voice is, you know, my lips ain't moving. They're blinking it, stopping the video, this and that, you know. Like there's some kind of bad connection. But it's sitting there saying across the sky, oh, I got him on a black screen now so he can't see it. Oh, I'm holding it so he can't this and that. Telling all the people at Hickam Air Force Base what it's doing, this AI computer built in the phones, you know? Always uh, oh, going to live stream now. Always oh, going to make. And there they just blocked the video, um, the live video. Um, I can't even see my lips moving. And just, just cutting like, off everything it, I'm saying you know? to the public. They're telling, you know, it, 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 it's sitting there telling the people across the sky with their voice to skull, oh, I'm stopping this video now. Oh, I'm locking the screen. Because I'm holding this phone. You know, they're trying to irritate me as they make this live video. Well, this is what's going on. As my home state that I was driven out of by organized gang stalking, I uh, just went to the Capitol because everybody wants to go back to work again in Michigan. They got me in Oahu, Hawaii, sitting there microwaving and targeting me because I guess Robert Duncan says that they need to. They need to fucking do this. They need to, they need to radio microwave people, walk them into their deaths with your hyper gang theory. This is what you fucking need to do. Yeah. He says it. We need. To, we need 
to sample certain people of society and uh, da 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 da, hyper game theory, walk them into their deaths, you know? And that's just what's going on. And he goes about his everyday fucking normal business and I'm being fucking tortured to death. With his fucking AI computer here in Hawaii. This is what's going on live in Oahu. And right now it's 8.59. Hopefully, hopefully, Charles, this thing goes over to Facebook. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna turn on your computer. I wanna see if this, I'm, I'm gonna do this right now on the computer. And right here is where they no, look, cut look, the look, video. This is live now. I got a witness right here watching Mr. Button. And they cut the video right there. Oh, you can take that one before the Lord. And so this is the second video here. time getting a play here for whatever reason. And it's got a timer on it now. It never had a timer before. Now it just blinked, it blinked it off. Yeah. It blinked it off. It but, put a timer on start the start live the video, video and then it blinked Anyways, it off. This is Chris Hansen. And while it was um, saying live and it was video. running, it was on zero, zero, zero. Be two live videos uh, to Facebook. This is the second one. The Voice to Skull just cut it off from uh, Pearl Harbor Hickam Air Force Base where they got this AI. Okay, I just flipped the screen around again. To and the there I was just talking and talking off. and talking and it and just I make sure like, that stopped this, the video the so video I couldn't that they just cut get out to the public what Facebook they were saying. One, and then it's posted. This is the second one. So I'm going to rewind you know, this here so you can see exactly up. everything. Okay, I just flipped the screen around again to the computer. I'm starting the computer up because I want to make sure that this, the video that they just cut is on Facebook, for one, and then it's posted. This is the second one because I was getting on the computer, so they cut it because I said I was going to see, I wanted to see if it was going to be live on the computer as I do it or if they're going to play little fucking games again. And, uh and i uh, hold the video. So now this is my second video. So the first one should be posted already. And the one that I'm doing right now, the one that I'm doing right now, it should show up live, that I'm, that I'm live on Facebook right now on this computer. Because I'm doing this live on my phone right now. And I got a witness right here that's witnessing me do this. So, as I kick on the computer here, uh, Computer's coming on. Voice to skull from Pearl Harbor Hickam Air Force Base. Radio microwaving me in the side of my head, in the back of my head, and saying all types of foul stuff against the Holy Spirit through my head, you know? Just driving me insane here as I just get back from Safeway here because I'm gonna make a pot of spaghetti. As a normal American just making dinner here. Went and got some bell peppers here. You know, at the store, and uh, they got everybody locked down here in America. You know, got some hamburgers thawing out here in the water, and they got they got everybody locked down here in America. Here, they're uh, mind controlling. They're, they're mind controlling. I see the police. 
And you're the same guy that I just talked to the other day about these microwaves, huh? Yeah, I'm doing a live stream right now on Facebook, man. No, it's just these radio microwaves across the sky from this mind control stuff while they got everybody under house arrest here from the crew. The neighbor called the this police because I says, uh, What's your badge number? That, that this was the police that showed up because uh, I was saying, What, you got a effing right to do this to me? Walk me into my death? I'm sitting here trying to make spaghetti and they're trying to walk me into my death with their, their terrorism on America. And they sent the same police officer. I just got done f making a police report. I haven't even picked this one up yet. The other day I met this officer over at Walgreens and now he's at the door again. Same incident. Microwaves. Two nines are on. Yeah, I'm doing a live stream right now on Facebook, man. No, it's just these radio microwaves across the sky from this mind control stuff while they got everybody under house arrest here for the coronavirus. This guy the thinks it's blurry. What's your badge number? 2901. Two nine zero one? Yeah, well well Robert Duncan has it all over uh Facebook that they need to walk people into their deaths. They need to sample certain people right, and sir. walk them into their deaths and stuff like that. Yeah. Um this guy thinks it's funny. This guy thinks it's funny here. Nobody thinks anything is funny. The COVID virus is not a funny thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This guy okay, cut okay, me well, off. You know, he, you know, laughed, he was sitting there laughing, laugh. and then now the sergeant wants to just, like, try to overrun me, out-talk me, and uh, everything uh, on the live video here. You know, he's trying to, like, talk over me and everything else. But the guy was, like, you know... <laughs> I'm thinking it's funny, like laughing at me through the door. When I, as soon as I started talking about microwaves, you know, like I'm nuts. I'm not nuts. Anything is funny. The COVID virus. Oh, well, he, 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 not a funny thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay, well, you know what? He just laughed no, and he's no, on no, camera. No, no, we're, so. think, we're thinking about different things, but I don't appreciate you saying my officers don't care. We care. That's why we're here. Oh, right? oh, oh so, okay, so okay, you, okay. Sir? So you all. Okay. How can we help you, sir? Or I never called you. What do you mean? How can no, you help somebody me? Somebody called and said there was an argument. That's why we're here. So okay. Are well, are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. okay so Other than these microwaves, maybe, you, maybe you. See how he says that? I'm here to help you. Um, how can I help you, sir? I never called him. Now he's asking how I can help him. Uh, how he can help me? You know? I never called the guy. Somebody else called. He's trying to switch it around on the live video. And then, and then he's saying, oh, and then he turns around, and he says, oh, somebody called from upstairs and uh, said there was, an art, there was an argument or something. Not a funny thing, right? So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, okay, well, you know what? He just laughed no, and no, he's no, on no, camera. No, no, we're, so. think, we're thinking about different things, but I don't appreciate you saying my officers don't care. We care. That's why we're here. Oh, right? oh, oh so, okay, so okay. How can I help you, Okay, sir? so you all, okay. How can we help you, sir? Are I you never called you. What do you mean, how can no, you help somebody me? Somebody called and said there was an argument. That's why we're here. So okay, are well, okay? are you okay? I'm fine. Okay, so Other than these microwaves, maybe you, maybe you might want to go, you know, because I know I understand a couple of you officers got shot and some houses got burnt down from organized gang stalking or something just recently over at Waikiki and that guy was hearing voices. Is it from here or is it... Well, obviously it's everywhere. Is it emanating from Lydia Street? No, it, it comes from on top of the New Iwano YMCA where they got all those signal boxes. Gotcha. New Iwano Street over here where they got all those signal boxes. And then there's a, just a lot of organized gang stalkers that want to honk their horns all the time. Okay, sir. Well, well we are aware of certain areas that are high in EPD and all those kinds of and we are trying to monitor at this point. So. Yeah, well, you know what? I got so many radio microwaves in my head, I can't even think straight. And when I'm getting, you know, uh, blast... And it says we are trying to monitor at this point. Yeah, they're monitoring them. They're working through them. They're working with the federal government on us. And they're there to cover it up and to make sure that they can get an ambulance for you, haul you off somewhere. 
from his Holy Spirit, blah, 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 stuff like that. I'm a Christian, okay, and stuff like that going through my head with the radio entrainment and everything, man, where I can't even think straight. Okay, sir. You guys need to contact Pearl Harbor and Hickam Air Force Base for this. See how he just nonchalantly just, just brushes you off, you know, and every, a second ago, he, he he's like all on top of it and they're monitoring and stuff. And then now he's like, I'm telling him, look, all these blasphemies of the Holy Spirit and everything and this stuff. Like, he's like, oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, like he could give a shit less, man. Just hurry up and shut up, man, so we can get out of here or something, you know? Blah, blah, stuff like that. I'm a Christian, okay, and stuff like that going through my head with the radio entrainment and everything, man, where I can't even think straight. Okay, sir. You guys need to contact Pearl Harbor and Hickam Air Force Base when this stuff comes every... I'm talking, excuse me, that's rude. I'm talking to you. You guys need... Well, I'm talking to him right now. Are you all right? Well, yeah, now... See how he... Uh, are you all right? Are you all right? Now, 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 now I'm like suddenly incoherent or something to, to this guy, you know? I'm telling this guy about Pearl Harbor, and then he comes in, butt, butting in out of nowhere, being rude, you know, and starts talking to me while I'm talking to the other guy. I'm not finished talking to the other guy, but this guy's going to come in and just, like, interject and then ask me, am, am I all right? Am I feeling okay? You know, that's the way they do it, you know. Everybody knows it, too with the radio entrainment and everything, man, where I can't even think straight. Okay, sir. You guys need to contact Pearl Harbor and Hickam Air Force Base when this stuff comes every... I'm talking, excuse me, that's rude. I'm talking to you. You guys need... Well, I'm talking to him right now. Are you right? Yeah, now that they're off, I'm fine. You want to hurt anybody else? What? You want to hurt yourself or anybody else? You okay? Why do you guys always ask that, man? Because we just want to know. Are you okay? Okay, I'm fine. Okay, all right. Okay, what I'm not you fine with, down, okay? what I'm not fine with, okay, is all the, the all the radio microwaves that are focused here every night. Okay, look at they're blurring the phone now, so you can't see them. Yeah. So now that's the police here, uh, because they heard, they heard the screaming from my torture, and they want to know if I'm feeling okay. So anyways, as we're still live on Facebook here, okay, I'm gonna go to the internet here. The police just left. Um, so hopefully they post this, man, huh? You know, I mean, that, yeah, cause it's, it's live, you know? It should be on Facebook right now, still rolling. Uh, See, see, look at it. I'm clicking this and nothing's happening. See, it's still doing its electronic harassment. See? So there, there's the door. There's the dog. So we're still live here. That's still posted. So as this is going on here, um, that's how I share this here to... Uh, uh, Yeah. Look, and it, there's there's the second one. Okay, so this, or not the second one, the first one. So this was the first one, everybody, that this thing caught. And you can see they got their green screen on there. You know how they do their green screen and everything. Oh, this was 13 minutes ago. This is the one that they caught. So I'm just sharing this in my story real quick. Uh, government torture, and that's why the police were here. Um, what's going on here uh, on the American people as they got America shut down with the coronavirus, they're still torturing Americans with psychotronic microwave weapons attacks um, because they need to. Um, according to Robert Duncan, they need to walk people into their deaths. Uh, 
So it's still posting here. I've hit post. Uh, there it says it was shared in my uh, story. Finally. Here. This is the one that they cut. So I'll make sure that this goes over to. So they're blurring the phone Halloween now. Terrorism. Here. That's my group here. More electronic harassment. They As they're the torturing here. me with their mind control from Pearl Harbor again here. So this live video was just shared here. I'll go over to my group, make sure that it actually popped over there. And there they got me on a green screen again. You know, I don't know if that's like a Navy SEAL uh, green team or their little, their little alien, you know, wh wh for whatever reason they keep popping that green screen up. Um, I, don't, I don't have anything to make my screen green in my phone that I'm aware of, so it must be something that they built in because this is the way the video should look without their green shit. So, this is the first video that they cut. And this is the reason why the police came uh, over because I was yelling about they what they- so, so. They got me so disturbed they got me so upset. Now this They're is just now. frequencies in my head right now as I'm making this video. I just went to the store to get some supplies. I just got back from Safeway. I got it in a Walmart bag because of all the... So that's, a, that's the same guy that I actually uh, filed something about the microwaves uh, the other day. The same exact officer came to the door. Um, the, the same guy, the same scenario that they played uh, with the guy that shot the police um, over Waikiki that was here from the government. This and that. I don't plan on hurting anybody. I don't plan on doing anything to anybody. I don't have any intentions of doing anything like that guy did at all, you know. Um, but he was being driven out of his mind by this mind control stuff, and um, you know. Uh, Barry Trower says, oh, assassin or, or, or a killer? Oh, we can do that in hours. That's easy. You know, so I, I don't know what they did with this mind control and this guy, but they they said on the news that, oh, they were very familiar with the guy. And so they got the same police coming to the door here and showing up for the police report and this and that, you know. So I don't know. They're trying to see this up the road, you know, like they're very familiar with me and everything. But I got like 500 videos where I've reported this stuff. KHON will not even interview me. They won't report it. They hang up on me. They laugh at me. And Nestor Garcia used to laugh at me and hang up on me. This is the guy that's now agreed and resigned, just like the Kealoha guy who's indicted by the FBI with the Honolulu Police Department, you know? The chief of police. You know? Um, resigned Mr. Garcia and agreed to pay thousands in ethical violations. These are the guys that... And Janine from the Honolulu uh, Prosecuting Attorney's Office, unlike Louis K. Aloha's wife, a prosecuting attorney, um, covered up an assault that happened on me at A American Storage um, and Inspector Coleman from the Honolulu Police Department. Uh, because of the organized gang stalking and the terrorism that was taking place over there at my last storage unit. Um, now it continues to go on as I go through Care Hawaii, which is right above me um, at the storage unit I'm at now. Um, they're starting to increase the organized gang stalking and everything because I'm getting close to getting housing. And the guy that shot the police, it was kind of weird, but it was about housing. And uh, I'm actually here um, in Oahu because they forced me out of my housing. Um, in the meantime, 140 Fear Drive in Montrose, Michigan, um, sold his house after he was targeting me for months and months and moved out. Um, and 171 North Saginaw Street and 165 North Saginaw Street and uh, they were all involved in it and uh, so 
This is what's going on live in Oahu, Hawaii now. As they try to make a public uh, disturbance and everything um, in my friend's apartment here. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to get an apartment right upstairs and all the organized gang stalkers are increasing the organized gang stalking and the harassment as I get closer to getting housing. Um, the, they're starting to call the police now and uh, have them show up at Charles's door and um, increasing the presence of the police um, to make me look like I'm crazy and it's a housing thing. And it actually is. Um, and what's crazy is um, uh, they're doing it to a lot of people in America, all these terrorist cell groups that are popping up everywhere, these, these uh, organized gang stalkers, they're just targeting people everywhere in America. And, and supposedly, I guess that's what they need to do um, is walk people in their deaths. Well, what they really need is a rope around their fucking neck like Saddam Hussein for war crimes against humanity. Uh, uh, report this stuff, you know, or cover it up. The Honolulu Police Department, uh, the Honolulu Prosecuting Attorney's Office, KHON, all this. While they sit there and report to the public, like, you know, and cut the, what the guy was saying out and just interview the police, like, yeah, we were really familiar with the guy, da 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 da, you know. Um, it's a cover up. It's a cover up, it's a setup. And they're just, they're just covering for this terrorism that the government's doing. In the meantime, they got Robert Duncan on here saying, oh, we just want to walk people to their deaths. We need to sample certain people. I don't want to be sampled. It's against my will, okay? I'm tired of being targeted, okay? I'm tired of their crimes against humanity. I'm tired of their electronic harassment. I'm tired of where I can't even go to the store and buy hamburger and bell peppers and make spaghetti without being tortured to death. Just like he says, oh, are, are, are they misusing it? Oh, that's an understatement. He says, no, they're being tortured. I'm being tortured, okay? Right verbatim, right? Just like the guy said. So as they torture me here and the police are showing up at the door and everything else, okay, I'm still live, and I'm gonna quit this live video. Uh, yeah, look at it, and it's 9-11. Had no idea, you know, so, so <laughs> that figures. And maybe I should let it roll for another minute or two, man, because I hate to end it on that one, you know? <laughs> yeah, so anyways, I'm, I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna go make my spaghetti, you know, and, um. Hopefully they, they quit torturing me from across the sky where they got all this stuff set up on the American people, you know, and everything else. So Ch Charles, what did they say to you out there? What did they say to you? He just asked me about the right. He asked me if you were okay and it, everyone tell that they got the dog were fighting over here, so they had the plate from upstairs. I told him no to work fighting, he was having a bit of a spell. I was pointing up and see what they were gonna say. So that was pretty much legit, are you all right? Sometimes it's not, but in that particular instance, they, they you have to ask that, because they ask them, are you all right? Do you need an ambulance? You say, no, I do not. But if it's not, then you got to kind of work around it. You know, like it's, yeah, it's, yeah I don't like, need an ambulance for sure, man. I, they got, I, I got a, I got a, I got a, uh, uh, I got a, uh, I don't know if I posted it to here or not. Uh, and this is some of my videos already um, because of this stuff here. Um, you see, I already got it. I mean, and they're just doing it to me again. You know, um, they were holding a guy down, forcing a vaccination on him. Um, you know, that's what they did to me in Hurley Hospital too. They held me down, they took my pants down they uh, started shooting me up with stuff, you know. Uh, this is radiation sickness. This girl's got a nosebleed here. And um, Dr. Barry Trower here says on here uh, that this is what, what, what it does. Uh, 
Verona. In Verona, by Sanskrit 5 2, within a very short space of time, the people didn't even know. Yeah. Yeah, there's people coming to the hospital. The surgery is then inundated with people with chest pains, nose pains, vomiting, dizziness, fatigue, all the things you you associate with radiation sickness. All the things associated with radiation sickness. Nosebleeds, da 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 da, you know, and here this girl is. Nosebleeds. You know, you know, and they're complaining about the 5G and the radio microwaves and everything, you know, and they are aware of the old, the EEG cloning. But when you go to the hospital, and, and, or that's EEG, one of my friends on Facebook. Said, it's his um, daughter. When you go to the hospital, it's got a nosebleed, EEG, and they're saying they it's a, a microwave. They say it's you a need target. An appointment, da, 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 because they can actually pick this stuff up coming uh, on you. And so as they do the uh, computer stuff and they, they uh, uh, electronically harass, stop the phone, stop the live video and everything, so I can't, like, uh, see if it's going to be posted or whatever. Uh, now this thing's talking across the sky, oh, you need to hold it down, this and that, the police were just there, you know? Yes, this is this voice to skull coming from the... Uh, yeah. You will want to weigh and see what the, what they got on top of punch right. 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 trying to directly right. start a public uh, uh, start, it's just directly so trying to start a public this guy upstairs by the way earlier was saying stuff a public to me. scene it's the guy I couldn't the corner, think because it was radio um, microwave he'd say oh don't smoke uh, the smoke's coming into our apartment. Me and Charles would be out there doing our uh, martial arts in a parking lot or whatever. Oh, don't click your sticks. Da 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 da. It's too loud. And I don't know. Not, now he's now he's saying stuff again. But he's the organized gang stalker. He's the one that called the police. He he, he sits there and he, he instigates trouble. And, and, and he says stuff every day um, with these organized gang stalkers, honks his horn, da da da, just start stuff. And and then he he calls the police when somebody's being tortured. This is what they're. Wait, you're talking about the EEG cloning, and that is a very complex topic. It's how to clone a human mind onto another mind, and it's called cybernetic high fund. And under the right circumstances, yes, I know your viewers won't believe this, yes, someone else can actually see through your eyes and hear through your ears. All your five senses are cloned as well as their senses onto yours. So they can make you do things, they make you smell things you don't normally smell or or hear things that, you know, are not physically there or he, he was gonna say in say your third eye, which is called the, the, the visual workspace. And that's exactly what they're doing to me. They got this lady blasphemer blaspheming the Holy Spirit through my head. They got me EEG cloned through this equipment. Her senses, her feelings, her insinuations, her, you know, interpretations of how she sees stuff is coming through my head, twisting my brain around. The guy upstairs is involved in it. The guy over here is involved. The guy over here is involved. You know, the people over here are involved, you know, and they're doing exactly what they did at Waikiki. They got all these neighbors. Um, in the meantime, I just wanted to get an apartment upstairs here, um, and they're starting to increase the gang stalking. They're starting to increase the microwaves. They're starting to increase the, the, the stuff because I'm supposed to be getting an apartment, and I've been trying to get the apartment for um, some time upstairs. This guy on the end now is uh, really, really starting to increase stuff 
um, because he knows that I might be a neighbor. Um, and and um, they don't want to see me get help. Been doing it since because I'm targeted. I'm targeted. They don't want to see me in. Just for a long time, he's been doing it. Um, in the meantime, um, he he's involved in the organized gang stalking and everything else, just like these other guys. Um, as I go through this mind control and and my uh, housing guy is calling me, they're keeping track of everything that's going on with my housing and they're starting to increase their their uh, torture and everything and, 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 and harassment. Um, it's like they, they do not want me to get housing and they're doing everything they can to keep me out of housing just like they did in Michigan. Um, with this organized gang stalking. Um, it's happening to people all over the country. It's definitely a housing thing. It's definitely an organized gang stalking thing. And it's definitely a cover up by the police departments. Uh, in the meantime, this is what's going on with this guy, Robert Duncan, who created all this stuff. You know, they're torturing people with it. And then they're using these organized gang stalkers to say you're crazy. You know, and ask you if you're feeling okay. No, I don't feel okay. No, I don't feel okay. So Sweden's using microchip implants and everything. They got this coronavirus stuff going on. The guy upstairs is uh, involved with all the organized gang stalking. And, um, you know, as I'm being tortured by this microwave stuff, he wants to call the police, you know, and get the police involved. And he's the one with it's an organized gang stalker. Got his little girl out there shaking her ass in the parking lot, you know, right before you come out, you know, and standing over there with like a camera off to the side, you know, using his little girl as some kind of sexual tool or something like he's, you know. Um, this is the type of stuff that they do. And then they sit there and they honk their horn and they instigate trouble. And, and then they, when you're being tortured, they call the police, you know. And then the police come by and say, oh, yeah, we're well aware of this guy, you know, da, 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 da. And, you know, and it's just a setup on America. All these terrorist cell groups are coming up all over America. All this organized gang stuff is coming up everywhere. There are these Satanists or these Luciferians or these Masons that are in society that are radical ideological extremists that are uh, secret societies in society trying to mess society up. In the meantime, they got this coronavirus where they're trying to collapse society, collapse the infrastructure of America so they can bring on their new world order and their one world government martial law. And everybody knows it. That's what's going on live in Oahu, Hawaii right now. It's 921. 416-2020. And now I'm hitting the finish button here and it's... So I'm completing this video that I'll be uploading to YouTube here. Um, these two videos here. And it is now 10.10 10 p.m. Thursday. April the 16th, 2020. It's Chris Hansen live in Oahu, Hawaii. Psychotronic microwave weapons attacks. Um, that evidently the police are aware of. Um, which they said tonight. They say they're monitoring it. I say they're following along and involved in on it. Along with it. Um, and... Um, I guess I'm gonna make my spaghetti here and upload this to YouTube and then put it back from YouTube over to Facebook, make a second record of it and get this over to the organized gang stalking groups so everybody can see what happened uh, here live in Oahu, Hawaii tonight. This ain't Cuba now and I'm not a military guy. I'm just a civilian that's, uh, they're trying to walk into my death. You know, here in America, the KHON refuses to report, and the Honolulu Police Department wants to falsify police reports and put my tattoo that's on my left arm on my right arm and make me, you know, 
a lot skinnier than what I am and didact everything on the second copy to cover up everything that they did on the first copy that was falsified and da 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 da. <clears throat> like they do.